So hello everyone, this is Akshay and welcome to this day 3 of our recursion playlist. Today's problem is about rope cutting problem. So let's see how it can be done. What are the input test cases and the output test cases? So rope cutting problem. <clears throat> what you have to find? Maximum. Hmm. So the input is given as n equals to 5 a equals to 2 b equals to 5 is equals to 1, right? Now you have a rope of length 5. You need to cut cut this rope in order कि जो आपने जो कट किया है वो मैक्सिमम कट होने चाहिए राइट right? और कंप्लीटली पूरे भी होने चाहिए लाइक फॉर एन इक्वल्स टू 5 यू कैन कट इट इन टू पार्ट्स देन अगेन 2 एंड देन अगेन 1 बिकॉज़ द वैल्यूज गिवन आर ए बी सी इन्हीं के सेट में आपको कट करना है बट दिस दिस इज नॉट द मैक्सिमम यू कैन यूज अगेन वन थिंग दैट 1 1 1 5 टाइम्स वंस एंड यू कैन यू हैव कट द नंबर ऑफ कट्स मेड हियर इज 5 नंबर ऑफ कट्स मेड हियर इज 3 Similarly, or क्या possibility हो सकती है कि आप एक cut लगाओ से five का, but that will be just one cut. Mm, okay, all of the cuts. Uh, so मैंने सारे possible cuts लिख दिए, तो इनमें से maximum that is five. So we have returned the five, and the reason is five pieces of length, one each. Similarly, for the second test case, n equals to twenty three, a equals to twelve, b equals to nine, c equals to eleven. You can see that the maximum cut possible is for eleven and twelve, such that eleven and twelve will be equals to this sum given here. ये भी एक constraint है. It should be equals to this sum given. You cannot take improper cuts. So n equals to 5 ke liye, for e, uh, a is 4, 2 and 6. So all cuts are even, even numbers. So you can take cut laga lo that will not sum up to an odd number, right? So that is minus 1 not possible. Similarly, for n equals to 23, 11 and 12, what are the cuts possible here? So yes, uh, this and this is the same test case. So again, the answer will be 2. So, okay, let's jump to the idea of the recursion that how we can solve. So the idea will be to try all the possible cuts. Try all the possible cuts. So I made the recursion tree here. Now let's just study it. So n equals to 23. Uh, n is equal to 23 it was at the initially, right? So I made a first cut of a equals to 11 and the output came as 12. Similarly, I made the second cut of 9 and it came as 14 and the third cut as 12 at, at came as 11. So what I'm doing, I'm trying all the possible cuts, right? Similarly, then it will go 12 will again will be um, minus with the 11 thing and it will come 1 and similarly this 9 and this again 12 so it becomes 0. So as soon as I'm hitting 0, I can say that there is one possible cut, right? Or uh, there is one possible cut using this branch, this 11 and then 12. Right, this is the branch saying that I can use 11 and 12 as one possible cut. Right, so whenever so base cases, so base cases, hamara kya ho gaya? Ki if I'm using whenever I'm encountering 0, right, so n is reducing, n is reducing to 12, then it reduced to 0. So I can say that if n is equals to 0, there is one to stop the recursion, and there is one answer. So I will say return 0, and here it stopped the recursion, and answer is achieved. This is the base case. Similarly, you can see that after 12, when I subtract 11 to 12, it, come, it becomes 1. When I again subtract 11 to 1, it will become negative value, that is minus 10. If I subtract 9, it will be minus 8. If I subtract minus 11, it will be uh, 12, it will be minus 11. You can see that in these cases, answer is not possible. Answer is not possible, right? Aap positive and negative ja chuke ho, that is not possible, right? So, I can base case like if n is less than 0, then stop recursion. And answer is not possible. Answer is not possible. So, I will mark minus 1 se let's say mark kar deta because 0 tha, wo indicate kar tha, to stop the recursion and answer is possible. So, it will be minus 1. So, I will say that you will discuss that whenever you are writing the base cases, the leaf nodes are the recursion tree, ka jo leaf node hota hai, that is the very important thing that you will say that the base cases are not the recursion. Ke. So, that's one point. So, this is the Mm. So this is the idea. Now just pause this video here and try to write the recursive code for this question and we'll continue again. So this is the recursive code for this uh, question. So if you have this code, you can write it yourself, then that is very good. Nahi toh, let's discuss it. So base cases, toh, I have already explained it, how it is coming. So what I'm doing, I need maximum, jay. like I need what is the maximum possible cut. So that that's why I have used this function result is equals to max and I'm trying all the possibilities. What I was doing, I was doing n minus a, then I was doing n minus b in the second branch and the third branch I was doing n minus c. And the, now this 12 was actually updated to n minus a, right? And still 
I again do the cuts for this a, b, and c. So that's what I have written. The result is equal to math dot max for the function n minus a b comma c and n minus b a comma b comma c n minus a a comma b comma c. Okay. So as soon as I hit this n equals to zero, so here say I will say that return result plus one. And as soon as I get result equals equals to minus one, that is for the negative cases. I will say that answer is not possible. So uh, let's uh, just return the values here. So th these are the all negative values, right? So it will return minus one, minus one, and minus one. So here it will see that since all the possible are minus one, so that result is pointing to the maximum of what min three point three times minus one. So it will say it will see that okay result is coming minus one and it will again return minus one from this one. Similarly, from here also it will return minus one, and from here it will return what? So since n was equals to zero, then from here it will return zero, right? It will return zero. Okay. So what I have to do? I have to take the maximum of three branches and then I have to return plus one. So the maximum of all these three, three branches minus one, minus one, and zero, it's one. Is zero right and I have to return plus one so it will be zero plus one right similarly for this these are all negative negative and negative so it will return minus one it will return minus one it will return minus one so for the three cases so it's three times returning minus one right so here it will return minus one minus one minus one how is this working the same here all the three values are negative so it is returning three times minus one and since the result uh, the maximum of minus one will be minus one, but I'm I'm uh, already getting a condition here that if the result is mass minus one. Then you have to return the overall value as not possible. That is minus one. Similarly, from here, it will return zero. It will return minus one, minus one, and from here it will return maximum. It will be zero. It will it will return zero plus one. Then the maximum from both the side and here the maximum of all these three branches one minus one and minus one. It will be one, and it will return one plus one. That is two, and that is our answer. Right. Okay, so I'm hoping that you were able to maybe uh, code the solution and if not that you were able to understand the solution that how the recursion, recursion and the branches are uh, running. So what will the time complexity of this code from one from one node we I'm, I'm pointing out three branches right and and uh, and how long it is going it is going till n if the worst case 23 may if I worst if sub, let's say a is equals to one. Then I have to do minus 122, then I have to do 21, then I have to do 20. So the length of the branches, it will be n, right? So what I have done, 3 power n. Similarly, space complexity will be O of n because this will be the maximum height, right? So exponential time complexity and space complexity O of n. This can be optimized in O of n in DP, but that will be discussed in this DP, in the DP playlist. So let's just see if this code is running. Let's just see the practical implementation of this thing. So I have written the code here. You can see that n equals to 23, 11, b is equals to 9, c equals to 12, and the same base cases. And result is equals to math dot max of all three possibilities because we want the maximum cuts. And if result is still minus one, then I have to return minus one. This is for the thing where the if I'm making a cut and it is going beyond the positive value, like it's going negative, then I have to return minus one, right? And in, in, in the in the rest of the cases, I have to result, uh, return result plus one. What Why I am doing result plus one? Because when you made a cut, you use one opportunity, right? You used one way. You used one cuts. So for the cuts you made, you have to do every time plus one plus one. So that is why we are returning uh, result plus one here. So let's run this code. And you can see the answer is coming too. So let's just verify for one more test case. It's coming five, right? So, okay. So, it's it's coming correct. But uh, one more thing I want to explain here is, suppose if I have written result plus one here and not here, so would you think that the code will run or not? It will not. How come? Agar mein yaha par agar maine plus one kar diya, aur maine yaha par nahi kiya, aur maine ye line ko nahi likha, right? So, I case dikha ta hu jahan pe code phas jayega. So, let's see. So. So, if we have n equals to 3, rakha, and, and every cut is positive, a equals to 2, b equals to 2, c equals to 2. So, for 3, you will what you will do? It will go to minus 2, it will go to 1, right? So, it will be 1, 1, right? And again, it will be negative. All these values will be negative. It will be pointing to minus 1, minus 1, and minus 1. Similarly, scalability. So, returning values will be 
सिंस मैंने क्या किया मैंने ये कंडीशन नहीं लिखी और मैंने पहले ही प्लस कर दिया सो वॉट इट विल रिटर्न इट विल रिटर्न माइनस वन प्लस वन मैक्सिम ऑफ ऑल दिस माइनस वन विल माइनस वन इट विल प्लस वन इट विल रिटर्न जीरो राइट सिमिलरली दिस विल रिटर्न जीरो दिस विल रिटर्न जीरो एंड द मैक्सिम ऑफ ऑल थ्री जीरो विल जीरो रिटर्न प्लस वन राइट सो इट इज सेंग दैट आंसर इज वन बट इट्स एक्चुअली नॉट यू कैनॉट मेक अ कट राइट ए बी सी आर वैल्यूज आर इवन एंड यू हैव एन इक्वल टू थ्री इक्वल टू वर तो पॉसिबल ही नहीं यू कैनॉट मेक सच कट राइट कैसे आप करोगे थ्री की वैल्यू एट टू देन यू हैव अगेन टू तो आप इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकते हो यू हैव यू यू कैन यूज ओनली वन टू मेक दो सम इक्वल टू थ्री बट यू डू नॉट हैव वन इन दिस ए बी एंड सी तो आई होप यू आर गेटिंग दिस पॉइंट तो दिस इज मैंडेटरी यू हैव टू यू के नॉट प्लस वन हेयर यू के नॉट डू प्लस वन हेयर एंड यू हैव टू राइट दिस कंडीशन एज वेल एज द प्लस वन हेयर ठीक है लेट्स मीट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द रिकर्जन and so the next two video will be okay so the next video will be on the the problem of generate subsets i will mention the link here now and we'll update the sheet so theek hai milte hai kal ke day 4 mein of this recursion playlist so tak liye bye bye take care and keep studying